Welcome to Seth Loves to Talk. Today, we'll be learning about how a 17-year-old accidentally made Minecraft's first self-replicating von Neumann probe. Otto, why is my chat a, bu a buzz? I'm about to reproduce if you want to watch. Is it cool? <laughs> wow, that is fucking sick! What? That's so goddamn cool. I'm a big fan of a YouTuber slash streamer named Ludwig Ogren. He makes great content, and I'd highly recommend you check him out. All right, I'm going for it. I swear that never happens to me. But today, I'm not here to talk to you about Ludwig. I'm here to talk to you about the 17-year-old programmer he employs by the name of Automated. Automated, aka Otto, is the type of person who was born to be a programmer. He started at 11 and has grown his skills by taking on new projects that interest him. Lately, he's been gaining a lot of notoriety for Crewlink, a free open source app that adds proximity voice chat to Among Us, and for creating functional casino machines inside the offline TV Minecraft SMP. Otto's creations have created some amazing moments with some of the biggest content creators. This is proximity chat. I'm like, hey, go away. I can hear you. I, I, no, I, was, I was just trying I, to task. I was here first. No, fuck off. No, I'm trying just, to talk. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sir. Oh, God, he's scary. Pause it. However much you want to gamble. Me? <laughs> I go all out. One stack of diamond. It'll count your money up and put it all onto a card. Walk over to the blackjack table, drop it over the curtain, and then you can start playing some blackjack. Let's go all in. Ace four, saw 15 versus a queen, we hit. That's a 15, hard 15, we hit. That's a 19, stand, the dealer will have a seven, we win one full stack of diamond. Otto streams while he codes his projects, and while I'm a bit biased being a programmer myself, I think his streams can be as entertaining as any on the platform. Uh... It's incredible to watch him take an idea and build it up piece by piece into a functioning product. Which is why I want to tell you about a recent project of Otto's that's particularly notable. In November, Ludwig began playing on a Minecraft survival multiplayer server run by the group Offline TV. This server happens to have a few additional mod packs installed, including one called ComputerCraft that allows players to use the Lua programming language to run programs on in-game computers. Adding programming to Minecraft opens up tons of possibilities, letting you create things like custom signs and billboards, which Ludwig commissioned Otto to make for his Sky Court, but it can also let you do something much, much more powerful. Control a turtle. You're laughing. I can tell. Like, a, a turtle turtle? What's so powerful about a turtle? Well, I think before we can answer that, we need to answer the following question. What is the most efficient way to explore space? Space is huge, so whatever probe we create, we wouldn't just want one. The more probes we have, the faster we can explore space. We could try to manufacture as many probes as we can, send them off in different directions, but that would require us to continually build probes on Earth, and eventually we'd deplete our own probe building resources, halting our ability to explore space at a faster rate. What would be better is if we had a machine that knew how to clone itself. That way, we can make the first probe, shoot it into space, so it could eventually make a clone of itself there. And then, that one could go on to make a clone of itself, and so on and so on. This is called a von Neumann probe, named after physicist John von Neumann, who rigorously studied the concept of self-replicating machines that he called universal assemblers. On Friday, November 20th, Otto began his stream with the title, The Great Offline TV Turtle Gambit. The plan for the gambit was as follows. Otto would write a script allowing him to control a computer craft turtle via a web socket. Then, he would build out a web app that would allow him to easily send commands and process information from the turtle. Once the app was completed, Ludwig would set up the first turtle within the offline TV Minecraft server. With a presence on the server, Otto could lobby the server's owner, Abe, to formally invite him onto the server. Without knowing it though, Otto was creating his own version of a von Neumann probe. An Otto von Neumann probe, if you will. Von Neumann had identified five key things needed to create a universal assembler each of which Otto accounted for in designing his turtle software. Engine, probe, memory, factory, and life support. The engine is the system responsible for moving the probe. This was fairly straightforward as the turtle's API has movement commands, which Otto leveraged to control the turtles using WASD on his keyboard. Now this should work. Now I should be able to use WASD to control it. W. It works! The probe is the system which handles collecting data about the world. For Otto, the only way he could get information about the world was using the turtle's inspect capability, which gets metadata about a block either in front, above, or below the turtle. 
Memory is pretty self-explanatory. The turtle itself has memory which stores its code. But Otto also added a database in his app to save information collected from the turtles, letting him build a 3D representation of the world in real time as they explored. The factory is responsible for harvesting resources needed for reproduction. Turtles are able to both craft and mine, allowing them to both gather the needed resources and craft the blocks in order to reproduce. While the steps for reproduction are complicated, Otto created an algorithm to automate it, simplifying the process to a single button press once he had the requisite materials. Life support is the system responsible for maintaining the health of the machines. Turtles are invulnerable to damage, but can be mined by a player, which Otto could do nothing about. What if it falls in lava? It's invisible. It's invincible to lava. Is it invincible to me? No, you can just break her and then she'll be dead. That's what I thought, bitch. Instead, Otto ensured he had a way to reboot the turtles remotely by adding a special input field into his GUI that allowed him to execute any command available to a turtle. We'll see how this came into play in just a bit. With the coding done, Otto was ready to test out Minecraft's first ever universal assembler. The plan? Get Ludwig to install the turtle on the server. I need a turtle. That's step one. So we got pick, turtle, uh, and crafting table. Now you just need the disk drive and the floppy disk. Uh, we have a cooler. floppy disk. Nice, now just a disk drive. Okay, I made that. That's all the materials. So now the next yeah. step, place down the disk drive and place the floppy disk inside the disk drive. All right, now you want to click on the turtle, run a single line of code. Sure. Is this, are we, are we thinking, is this Java for this or? Uh, it's actually, well, I think it's just shell code. Sure, shell code, shell code makes sense. And there it is. So, okay, we just got to do a, obviously, pastebin get, because we are pulling this from the code I uh, sent you earlier. We're going to do a, yep, uh, caps matter, of course. Uh, boom. You misspelled it. It's an, you put an X instead of C. What, what did I, fuck. All right, uh, now you just want to type in reboot and press enter. Goodbye. Now you break the disk drive. Pull it or get rid of the whole thing? Uh, you want to have both the floppy disk and the disk drive itself in your inventory. Uh, and then you want to right click on the turtle and put them in the turtle's inventory. You'll see there's like 16 slots to the right. I did that. Last step, uh, you just need to fuel the turtle. So you need to get some like coal or coal blocks. I think coal box blocks are more efficient. I got five blocks, that's pretty good. Oh, that's more than enough. That can make the turtle walk for like 4,000 blocks. Oh, it's spinning. Oh, why is it called Psyche? Is this like Cap? Uh, it's from it's from Greek mythology. I, I named them all after Greek myths. So oh, really oh, Psyche, the god of Psyche, the god of mind of control. Something. Yeah, probably. All right, and fueled up. Psyche's now online. With the turtle installed, Otto began gathering materials. Here I am controlling Psyche. Ooh, we got redstone. We needed redstone. Redstone is needed to self-replicate. Oh, we have so much coal. We're so lucky. We're so lucky. We got the coal early. This means we're going to easily be able to fuel our next turtles. Okay, let's look at the crafting materials for a new turtle. Seven iron ingots, two logs, seven smooth stone, one redstone, one glass pane, three diamonds. Okay, biggest things here. Diamonds? Glass pane, because we need sand, and logs. We have everything else, chat. Sand, we need sand. Six sand, okay, that's enough for 16 more turtles. Okay, this is already going so much better than I thought it would. Oh, diamonds, we found diamonds. Another diamond, nice. Three diamonds, that's enough for one turtle. Any more? Any more? Holy shit, four diamonds? We're getting lucky today, boys. Oh, another diamond. Two more diamonds, holy shit, we're lucky as shit. Six diamond vein? Seven? Holy shit! Eight? Eight diamonds! We now have six logs. That's enough to make two chests. And enough to make two turtles. All right, let's go! We're gonna duplicate ourselves, chat. With all the materials needed to reproduce, he called over Ludwig. Otto, why is my chat a, bu a buzz? Uh, I'm about to reproduce if you want to watch. Is it cool? Pretty cool, yeah. It's gonna be a new Greek god. Get an aerial view and tell me when you're ready. Hold up. Boom. What? Wait, what? Did it just eat its creator? It's Hades. What? And now I can control both of them. Separately or at the same time? Well, I can make them both mine at the same time and I can take control individually. 
do it again. Have more sex. Okay, okay, if you want. But you could split again. <laughs> what? Immediately after stunning Ludwig with his replication ability, disaster struck as one of the turtles went offline, putting Otto's life support system to the test. Can I reboot Terpsico? I can reboot my program, but I can't reboot her. I can try. I can try to reboot Terpsico. Okay, I think she's in front of me, but she's invisible because she's offline. So if I break her... Okay, I, I have her now. She's here! She's bugged. She thinks that she's in the wrong place. Okay, I have to place her back in the exact direction I put her in. Yeah, so this should be right. Place peripheral dot call front turn on. Terpsichore's back! She's alive, Jet! Otto really wanted to show off the turtles to Michael Reeves as well, a tech-savvy YouTuber on the server doing his own work with Computercraft and turtles. Uh, wh what's going with on that? here? Wow, this is really cool. Oh, wow. You just looking inside, or...? I'm just having a little looky in his head, you know? Looky in his head. <laughs> looky in the head. He's not moving the same, though. Did you notice that? It seems like he's... Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I give him a little little nap time just to looky in the... And then, you, and then you wake him right back up, you know? How are you, like, getting a large amount of turtles, like, for Endgame, you know? Do you, do you have a turtle on you, Michael? I do. Oh, he's got his disk drive too. Oh, he carries his own disk drive. Right, so he's gonna place down the disk drive and boot the software onto the turtle he places down. Chad, it's Big Brain. He's a savant at 17 years old, you write the code. Man, some people are just like that. They're fucking nuts. The message is in a, in a second. Right, so that's, right, so this oh, is like yeah, the bootloader, right? right? Right, 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 right. He reproduces himself. That is sick. Welcome. That is so cool. He like oh. generates yeah, a 3D map. map. Right, right. There's the turtles. I can switch between them by clicking. Oh, that is such uh, cool can software. Also control with WSD. Wow, that is fucking it's sick. It took like a week on stream. I'm gonna try to make a YouTube video out of it. That's so goddamn cool. You got the power to whitelist me, right? <laughs> I don't have the oh. power to whitelist him. Ah, <laughs> uh, a bastard. I cannot wait to see his YouTube video on that. The maiden journey of the world's first Minecraft Von Neumann probe was a resounding success. Otto had endeared himself to OTV between his work on Crewlink, the Turtles, and the Casino, and was asked to join the server. You can even see the Turtles in the background of Otto's stream if you look hard enough. If you enjoyed hearing about the Turtles and want to see more, check out the video I edited for Otto that breaks down the entirety of the Turtle Gambit, code and all. I'll also be working on another video for Otto, so be sure to subscribe to him as well, and check out his Twitch if you're interested in coding at all. I hope you liked watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this so I can hit 1k subs. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at SethLovesToTalk.